Hello and welcome. My name is Sativ, and today we're going to be learning about diminishing returns in World of Warcraft. This video is done from a rogue's perspective, so we're going to be covering what kind of diminishing returns you need to watch out for if you're playing a rogue in PvP. But before we get ahead of ourselves, what exactly are diminishing returns? Some of you are wondering. So we're going to be covering exactly what they are, how they function, what categories each of your skills fall under, and some final thoughts about diminishing returns. So what are DRs? Diminishing returns, often referred to as DRs, is a system put in place to control the effectiveness of CC in PvP. What this means is each reapplication of the same category will diminish the effect first by 50%, then by 75%, and after that the target will become immune. For example, the first application of a stun like Cheap Shot will be full, 4 seconds. If you then reapply a stun like Kidney Shot directly out of your previous stun, it will only last 3 seconds, 50% as effective as it would be otherwise. So now that we understand a little bit about how diminishing returns function, let's talk a bit now about the categories that rogues will have to be aware of and where their skills fall under in these categories. Diminishing returns are broken up into 6 categories, Roots, Stuns, Incapacitates, Disorients, Silences, and AoE Knockbacks. Though as a rogue, you only have to worry about 4 of these categories. Let's go ahead and examine how each of our skills settle into these 4 categories. So first up are Stuns. As a rogue you have access to 2 different stuns, Cheap Shot and Kidney Shot. Cheap Shot generates combo points and can be used from stealth, lasts 4 seconds, and Kidney Shot costs combo points with its duration increasing depending on how many combo points you use. Next up are Incapacitates. Now rogues have two incapacitating effects, the first one being Sap, which is only usable from stealth and lasts 8 seconds, and the next being Gouge, which can be used out of stealth at any point in time, but costs a lot of energy. So for Disorients, rogues have access to only one ability, which is Blind. It is on a long cooldown, so you want to make sure that you always blind at an effective time. Things that share diminishing return with Blind are stuff like Fear from a Warlock, Psychic Scream from a Priest, and newly added to this table is Cyclone. And last we have Silences. Rogues only have access to one Silence through their ability Garrote. Well that about sums up all you need to know about how Diminishing Returns work from a Rogue's perspective, but what I'm going to sign you guys off with is just some basic information about how to utilize your Diminishing Returns. So here in this game, I start off by stunning the Monk and putting a Kidney Shot on the Druid because he pops all of his cooldowns. Now what the Druid did was he trinketed instantaneously. So I'm communicating with my team like, let's try and set up on this Druid. He just trinketed. Now he Barkskins when there's nothing on him, which is a huge mistake on his behalf. So I'm like telling my team right now, hey, let's just try and stay alive. I'm going to CC this Warrior off you. Let's set up on this Druid as soon as we can. So my druid put him in a stun or in a cyclone. I vanish, drop a smoke bomb, pop a kidney shot on him out of my out of my cheap shot, and we just blow him up. Another thing is you always want to be at full energy before you stun your target. That way, when you keep them stunned and locked down in place, you're able to deal the maximum amount of damage to them during that stun. Well, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. These are just some of the basics of diminishing returns, how they function, and how you should be keeping them in mind in PvP scenarios, and why it's helpful. If you're interested in finding more information like this, keep your eyes to the channel. The next video is going to be about keybinding, then we're going to move up from there to Introduction to Rogue, which will be covering all of your abilities, talking about their role in PvP, and how you can best utilize them. But until then, my friends, I want you all to stay sneaky, and most importantly, I want you all to go into PvP with a positive mindset, ready to learn new things and improve as a player. Take care, my friends. Good Gaming, an e-learning and social networking platform built exclusively for gamers and designed to turn you into an eSports champion. We give you the tools, resources, and support to game better. Instructional videos and e-learning guides give you access to powerful strategies and the secrets of the pros so you can dominate your opponents. Our exclusive mercenary system gives you access to personalized support for offer your own services to the highest bidder and compete in exclusive Good Gaming online tournaments to win cash and prizes. What are you waiting for? Become a Good Gaming member today. Good Gaming, revolutionize your game.